Hello everyone, welcome to Interpretation of Topographical Map Part 9. In this video, we are going to learn about river features and drainage pattern. Course of the river, also called landscape or stages of the river. We know that the gradient and the energy of the river keeps on changing from its source till its end. So based on that, we have three major courses or stages of a river. The upper course, middle course and lower course. Often the board exam question is asked as in which course is the river located? Now let's learn this concept using our topographical map. So here one side of the map can you see the brown lines? What are they? Yes, they are contour lines. They represent a hill. So in which course are these uh, rivers or streams? You see these thin black lines now? These are seasonal streams. So here in this part of the map, the river is in the upper course. It has just started from the hill. Now look at the other half of the map. You can see yellow color. We know that yellow represents cultivated land. And cultivation most of the time it happens in a plain area. So we consider that the river is in the plain area. And you can see that the river is little more broader there. So here it's called as Devagan Nadi. So here the river is in the middle course. Now let's learn all the three stages of the river one by one in detail. So first upper course of the river. So look at this map. Here you can see lot of contour lines. So definitely there will be a presence of a hill or a mountain represented by contour lines. And you can see that the streams are very very thin here in the upper course. And you see the word Nala here, Kulgarth Nala. Nala means stream. So usually in the upper course we have streams. Whereas when it comes to the middle course you will see it as a Nadi. Nadi means river. And in some cases you can also see the word falls. You see here falls 12 meter. So here falls 12 meter represents the height of the waterfall is 12 meter. So middle course of the river, the river has entered the plain area. So you can see the presence of a plain represented through yellow color which means it is a cultivated land. And you can also see meanders. What is a meander? It's the bends and loops formed by the river. So here as the speed of the river is slow, it starts meandering, wavering from its path. And so it forms bends and loops. The river also has a broad river bed. You see compared to the upper course where we had thin streams, here the river bed is very very broad. And you can also see many tributaries joining the main river. Can you see Ganguwa Nadi joining Sipu Nadi here? And there is another important word you need to know. Confluence. Confluence is a place where the tributary joins the main river. This word confluence may be asked like give four figure grid reference of the confluence of Sipu Nadi and Goguwa Nadi. So you see this grid where the Sipu Nadi and Gogua Nadi is joining. This grid's four figure should be written as the answer. Till course of the river, we can see perennial water channel. Look at this Varka Nadi. Can you see a blue color line inside the river? We know that blue color always represents perennial. So does this blue color represents that Varka Nadi is a perennial Nadi? No, Varka Nadi is not perennial. Only the water channel inside the Varka Nadi is perennial. So in the board they may ask you a question. Is Varka Nadi a perennial river? Or what is the nature of Varka Nadi? When they ask you what is the nature of a particular water feature, it means they are asking you whether it is a seasonal or a perennial water feature. So in this case, Varka Nadi, you see it is having lot of black dots. So it is in black and white. So it is a seasonal Nadi. But it has a small blue color line is a perennial water channel. See the picture here? So this is how a perennial water channel looks like. And in middle course of the river, we also see some rock particles. Can you see these small small rounds here? These are 
rocks in a river and this is how it looks like and look at the next picture can you see a big white patch inside the river that is a island inside the river and this is how it looks like so all these feature proves to us that the river is in the middle course so coming to the lower course of the river so this is where the river joins the larger water body like a sea or an ocean and for our board exam our maps g43 s10 and g43 s7 does not have any river which is in its lower course so actually you need not worry about that but still for the sake of theory i am teaching you this usually in the lower course of the river the river forms a delta or an estuary it looks like this and there will be lot of distributaries look at the river ganga here when it comes to the mouth of ganga you can also see many deltas plus if the river ganga is distributing its water through many channels like this so these channels are called distributaries the next important topic is drainage pattern what is drainage it is the flow of water through well defined channels so such network of channels is called as drainage pattern so we have four main drainage patterns for exam let's learn them one by one dendritic drainage pattern you see it looks like the veins of a leaf or branches of a tree this pattern usually develop in areas of homogeneous rock next pattern is trellis so here as you can see it develops in areas of alternating weak and hard rocks so you can see that the tributaries are parallel to each other and more or less these tributaries form right angles to the main stream next coming to radial radial pattern usually have contour lines in the center to represent a hill or a mountain and from the center you can see the streams flowing in all the direction downwards so i usually remember it as water radiating from the top of a hill or a mountain is radial pattern the last pattern is disappearing drainage pattern look at these streams over here the black broken lines these are disappearing streams also called intermittent streams so these streams do not meet the main river the water may be lost due to evaporation or seepage because of porous soil or uh, due to very high temperature the water would have evaporated so there is not enough water to reach the main river an often repeated board exam question is what do these disappearing streams tell you about the rainfall in the region or what do you infer about the rainfall in the region so this disappearing drainage pattern or the presence of disappearing streams represent that the region receives seasonal rainfall this is also an important board exam question you see there are many small streams in the southern part of the map but they do not join the main river in the north what is the reason the reason is because of these brown color dots what are these brown color cluster of dots they are sand dunes so the first reason is due to the presence of sand dunes and you can also write the soil is porous so the water seeps inside and disappears so here are some examples of dendritic drainage pattern this is an example of trellis or trellised drainage pattern you see the middle stream is there and you can see the tributaries joining them almost at right angles and the tributaries are parallel to each other here radial drainage pattern you can see the contour lines in the middle and the water being radiated in all directions from the middle even though in dendritic pattern and trellis also we have contour lines do not get confused so here are some revision questions do not take more than 5 minutes to complete this let's discuss the answer after completing so i hope you have completed now so identify the drainage pattern 
A. You look at this. The water is radiating from the top of a hill. So it is radial. And B. It looks like the veins of a leaf. So it is dendritic. What are the black broken lines? These are disappearing stream. They did not ask what is the drainage pattern here. What, asked, what are these lines? So you should not write as disappearing drainage pattern. You should write it as disappearing stream or intermittent stream. And what do these black broken lines indicate about the rainfall? It indicates that the region receives seasonal rainfall. And in which stage is this Gogua Nadi? It is in the middle course. Give two reasons for your answer. One reason because it is in the plain area. One more reason it forms meander. What is the nature of Sipu Nadi? When they are asking you nature of the Nadi, it means whether it is seasonal or perennial. So here as you can see black and white dots, it is a seasonal river. But what is that blue line inside the river? Yes, it is a perennial water channel. So just because there is blue, do not write as perennial river. It is a seasonal river and the blue line is perennial water channel. So I hope you understood the concept very clearly. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, keep practicing more and more exercises. See you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.